What's wrong with you, sis? I went out of my way to send you an invite to my wedding. I can't believe that you're not going to come. What's your problem? That's what I should be asking you. Are you serious? I couldn't believe that you even bothered to send me an invitation. What in the world makes you think that I would want to go? You guys both betrayed me. I don't even want to see either of your faces again. Oh, I get it now. You still have feelings for Mark, don't you? Of course not. It makes me angry just hearing his name. I can't believe you still have feelings for him. It's been two years already. Time to move on, sis. I know that he has his own company and is a great person to be with, but you can't just stay attached forever. It was your fault that you didn't end up marrying him. I guess you're struggling to find another man because of how unattractive you are. Maybe that's why you just can't forget about him. I'm telling you, it's nothing like that. Unfortunately for you, Mark is marrying me. There's no way I'm going to give him back to you. Don't worry about it. I don't even want him back. Especially after he's been with you. What did you just say? Even if you begged me to take him back, I wouldn't want him. Not even if he was the last guy in the world. You don't need to worry about me ever going after him. Go and get married with him, but please leave me out of it. Hey, sis! Is it true what mom told me? You're going to come to the wedding after all? Why did you decide to turn up? You should be thankful that I reserved a seat for you just in case you turned up. I'm surprised that you actually decided to come, though. I can't stop smiling. You seemed so adamant in not coming before. I'm actually not here because of the invite you sent me. What are you talking about? Why are you here, then? Oh, did Mark send you a wedding invite as well? I'm so happy he went the extra mile to get you to come. He really is an amazing man. What a great surprise! That's not what happened either. You must really still have feelings for Mark if you're here because he invited you himself. I'm only here because of something related to work. I don't really want to be here. You really don't have to make up excuses like that. I know why you're really here. Well, I'm glad everyone started to turn up now. Thank you so much for coming to my wedding, sis. It's really made my day. I'll make sure to show you just how happy me and Mark are together. I just can't wait to see your ugly face afterward. I'm the winner! What is wrong with you? What was that all about? Are you crazy? Why did you have to do such an embarrassing thing at my wedding? I can't believe that you have no morals on top of being so ugly. What are you talking about? You were sitting next to Trent Price throughout the entire wedding. Do you know who he is? He's a very important person. Someone like you should not be anywhere near him. Oh, Trent? Yeah, I was sitting next to him. What is the problem with that? I don't think I did anything that's embarrassing. Mr. Price is the CEO of one of the companies that does business with Mark's company. Yeah, I know about that. You knew about that and still decided to sit next to him? I can't believe you! I still don't see what's wrong about it. Why do you care so much anyway? I guess you're trying to find a man that's richer than Mark to try and make me jealous or something. You're just a gold digger. Unfortunately for you, that plan is not going to work. Mr. Price just got married last month. I can't believe that you're so desperate that you would go after someone else's husband. I would never do such a thing. Why would you even suggest that? Stop trying to act like you're so innocent. I guess ugly people like you really have to try so hard to get into a relationship. Please try to have some morals, though. Going after married men is just way too desperate. I'm not doing anything like that. Please stop making assumptions about me. 
Also, I got married recently, so there's no need for me to look for a partner anymore. What are you talking about? I know that you're lying, you loser. It's really sad. You're just embarrassing yourself. Please stop making yourself look even more miserable. If you don't believe me, then why don't you try asking Mark about it? Why would I do that? Mark was the one that invited Trent in the first place. He made a big deal of inviting him, so Trent felt like he couldn't really refuse. I don't know if Mark realized I was his wife when he invited him, though. <laughs> I did ask Trent to explain it to him, though, so you guys wouldn't be so surprised. We were both worried it would be a little awkward for you guys since I used to be engaged to Mark and everything. Mark said it was fine, though. I guess you never got the memo. What did you just say? You're his new wife? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Who else did you think it was if not me? The old lady sitting on the other side of him? <laughs> How was I supposed to know about it? Why would I ever imagine someone like you would manage to get married to someone like Mr. Price? Well, I guess this is the first time I've attended a business-related event with him. We had our wedding abroad and only invited a very few close friends and relatives. Why haven't I heard anything about this at all? I had cut ties with both you and our parents after what happened with Mark two years ago. I still can't believe our parents were on your side after you stole Mark from me. I wasn't planning on letting you know at all, but it really couldn't be helped since Trent felt obligated to attend the wedding. I can't believe that any of this is really happening. I heard that Mark was really surprised too. When Trent first brought it up, I guess Mark thought that it was just someone else with the same name as me. Apparently Mark got really agitated once he realized it really was me. I guess he couldn't say no to me coming to the wedding as he was the one who invited my husband. I still can't believe this. This isn't fair at all! Mr. Price is one of the most respected guys in the industry and on top of all that he is really handsome. His company is much bigger than Mark's company. In fact, it's not even close. I was really jealous of the woman when I first heard that he got married. Why does his wife have to be you of all people? Why is it my ugly sister that gets to be with him? It's just not fair at all. There's no way that you should ever be happier than me. It's not possible. Kate, that's enough complaining. You just had your wedding today. You're married now, so stop carrying on like a little brat and enjoy yourself. I am not being a brat. How dare you? You know what? I just thought of a great idea. If Mr. Price is willing to get married to someone as ugly as you, then maybe I still have a chance with him too. I'm much more attractive than you, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get his attention. What did you just say? Are you crazy? It's a great idea. I can start flirting with him right away. I'm going to go and tell Mark that I'm getting married to Mr. Price instead. I'll go tell him right now. You can't be serious. You really need to stop and think this through before you do anything too stupid. Why didn't it work? How could he resist my charms? Something's wrong for sure. It was so easy when I took Mark from you. He fell for me so quickly. I'm definitely the more attractive woman between the two of us. You really are such an idiot. You know that people like Mark are very rare. Most people don't cheat on their fiancé when they're engaged. Most men actually have some morals, you know. They don't just go sleeping around with anyone when they're in a relationship. But it's me that we're talking about. There must be something wrong if he's saying no to me. A beautiful woman like me is offering to marry him. Have you still not noticed? What are you talking about this time? Do you not know who Mr. Price is? Of course I know who he is. He's the CEO of one of Mark's business partners. That's not what I'm talking about. I guess he looks very different recently because he wears contacts now instead of glasses. He also lost a lot of weight and cleaned up his appearance. What are you saying? Are you trying to tell me that Mr. Price is someone that I should recognize from the past? That's exactly what I'm saying. 
Stop being so secretive and just tell me who it is then. His last name actually used to be Green. Green? He used to be Trent Green. His last name changed after his parents divorced. It was super messy and he decided he wanted to take his mother's last name. That's why his current name is Trent Price. The guy that you keep calling Mr. Price is actually Trent Green. Trent Green? That nerdy kid with glasses? You shouldn't be calling him names like that, but yeah, he's the one. Your precious Mr. Price is the guy that you bullied and called names throughout high school. That can't be true. Trent said that you and your friends really treated him badly back in high school. He knows how terrible of a person you are really deep down. You had already lost any chance you had at ever being with him way back then. No matter how much you flirt with him now, it's not going to make a difference. He said he'll never forget the way that you treated him back then. I can't believe this. Okay, fine. I don't care anymore. I'll let you have him this time. Just don't think that you've beaten me because of this. I'm going to find an even richer guy than Trent to get married to. I'm going to make you so jealous of me. Stop being like that. Why don't we sort out what's really happening right now? What do you mean? There's nothing to sort out? What was all that drama about yesterday then? You ruined your whole wedding after the ceremony was already finished and I heard there's no way Mark is going to submit the wedding papers. I'd call that a pretty certified disaster for you. Well, all of that is your fault. None of it is my responsibility. If you had never got engaged to either of them, then none of this would have happened in the first place. Do you really think that? You're not that stupid, are you? What are you suggesting? You do know that everything that happened is all your fault, right? The reason why your marriage collapsed before it even started was because you were flirting with other men on the day of your wedding. That was your choice. No one else's. If you really don't think it's your fault, then you have a lot of thinking to do. I've got to get going now. Goodbye. Hey! The fees for the wedding and reception and stuff added up to around $100,000. When do you think that you can pay it all by? Why would I help you pay for anything? Are you out of your mind? Because everything that happened was your fault. It's kind of obvious that the person who caused the trouble should be paying for it. I'll tell you the details on who to give the money to later. Make sure you pay it all as soon as you can. You really are something. Are you seriously trying to weasel out of the responsibility? You should think about what you've done and apologize as soon as you can. Why do I have to be the one to apologize? You were invoiced for the $100,000, not me. There's a reason for that. It's because you are the one responsible for all this. No, I'm not! Stop blaming me! You're such an idiot. I remember you were acting like this two years ago when you stole Mark from me. You told me it was my fault that I lost Mark because I was too ugly or something along those lines. Once I got a lawyer involved, none of your ridiculous excuses worked and you ended up having to pay me a settlement fee for breaking up my engagement. I think Mark paid the fees for you back then, right? Why are you bringing that up all of a sudden? I just brought it up to show you that you haven't learned anything from the mistakes you've made in the past. What did you just say to me? Are you suggesting that I'm stupid or something? Yes! Finally, we have a breakthrough! You have to take responsibility when you do immoral things like ruining a wedding. What happened at the wedding yesterday was your fault and you are responsible for paying all the fees associated. You really need to start realizing how unacceptable your behavior is. None of what you're saying to me makes any sense. A girl as beautiful as me can get away with doing anything. That's how it's been all my life. Are you sure you're going to be able to say the same thing in front of a lawyer? Could you make up that excuse again if the police come to arrest you? If they take you to court, could you say the same thing to the judge? What? I'm in that much trouble? In our society, it's normal to apologize to someone if you do something wrong. 
If what you did is bad enough and an apology cannot solve the situation, then things are escalated. This is where money can get involved to try to repair the damage is done. Worst case, it can involve prison time or lawsuits for the one that caused the trouble. Right now, you're being asked for money to make up for the wedding you ruined and the engagement that was broken. These things are your responsibility, and you have to own up to them eventually. What have I done? Two years ago, Mark helped you out by paying me the settlement fees for breaking up my engagement, but he won't help you this time. I doubt that our parents are able to afford anything close to $100,000. This time, you're going to be all by yourself. They've saved you many times in the past before, but you've crossed a line this time. Well, that's why I'm talking to you. Do you still not understand? You caused trouble to my husband in the past by bullying him and calling him names. Two years ago, you ruined my life by stealing my fiancé from me and ending my engagement. Do you really need me to tell you that I'm not going to be helping you out? Just how dense are you? I absolutely hate you. You deserve everything that you get. Well, what am I supposed to do then? You're not being helpful at all. How in the world am I meant to pay $100,000? That's way too much money. Looks like you're just going to have to work and earn the money. I'm going to have to work for it? You kept on saying that you're never going to work because you're so beautiful and that you can just get married to a rich guy for money. You're halfway through your 20s and you still haven't had a single job. Maybe it's time you faced reality. No matter how much you beg, no one is going to save you this time round. It's time to admit that you were wrong and start looking for a job. That's the only option that you have left, Kate. You're telling me that I have to find a job? That can't be true. I don't want to have to work. I thought my plan of marrying someone rich would work. I think your plan isn't going to work after what you've done. Give up with your stupid ideas and start working like everyone else. Why are you being so mean to me? You should be thanking me for telling you the truth. There's nothing left for me to say to you, and I've got to go anyway. Goodbye, Kate. I have to find a job? How do I do that? I've never worked or even tried to look for a job before. So many things happened in the following months after that day. First, Mark started to follow me around everywhere like a stalker. Trent found out about it and managed to get Mark fired after talking to Mark's boss about it. Word got around about what Kate had done, and those rumors had spread all the way to my father's workplace. My father couldn't stand it and ended up quitting his job. My parents tried to fix their relationship with me, but I refused, of course. I knew they only came to me for money. My father found a new part-time job, but it's not very well paid. Now on to Kate. My parents had finally had enough of her and cut her out of their lives. After wandering around for a while not knowing what to do, she ended up borrowing a large sum of money to pay Mark. Now she is working a job that she can't really say in public to try and pay back her debt. It was quite depressing to read the text that she would send me boasting about how much she earned selling her body. Trent recommended me to just ignore the messages and block her, so I took his advice. Jack, are you done with work for today? Did you find out when you come back home? Yep, they told me. On the 20th of next month. I won't make it out for our anniversary. I'm sorry, Lena. I see. I was afraid you wouldn't be back in time. I'm really sorry. I'll make it up with something big when I come back. You can look forward to a nice present. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to it. <laughs> But I don't mind. I know it's work. I know it was hard for you to suddenly be away on business for so long. I'll make lots of your favorite foods for dinner when you come back. Thanks. I'm really missing your cooking, Lena. I thought we could relax a bit after we finished doing up the new house. This business trip was so sudden. But you got promoted, so maybe it was for the best. Well, I did get lucky. 
Vince was supposed to go instead of me. His wife was ill, so he pulled out, right? How awful. Yeah, I feel sorry for him. He's the best out of us. But if it's him, I'm sure he'll outrank me soon. <laughs> Don't be giving up so easy. <laughs> By the way, what's Carla doing? She's in her room. She's studying hard for her finals. She's very responsible. When I was in high school, I'd just cram on the day before. She's a serious child, and she has goals for the future. Hey, maybe I'll interrupt her with a text. Quit it. <laughs> She's just going to be annoyed at you. Nah, Carla's a good kid. She wouldn't ignore her dad. She won't be a kid forever. Don't actively try to make her dislike you. <laughs> All right. But we haven't spoken lately, so I should shoot her a message. I'm sure she wants to speak to me, too. Really? <laughs> Just don't pester her too much. I know. I'll be in touch another time. Oh, and make me a list if you want any souvenirs. Okay. You'll be finished soon. Hang in there. Carla, got a minute? Still studying? Hey, Dad, what is it? I just finished dinner. I see. I just need to discuss something with you. Discuss? What's up? I want to surprise Mom for our anniversary next month. I want your help. Mom told me that you're coming back on the 20th. Was that a lie? <laughs> yup. I like to surprise her occasionally. You really love Mom, don't you? <laughs> Fine, I'll help you. Thanks, Carla. When you come back, you'd better increase my allowance. Oh, fine. First, can you find out what Mom wants? If you could give me three possibilities, that would be great. Got it. <laughs> I'll ask her subtly. I'm glad I have a daughter I can rely on. I'm counting on you. Carla, you're not home, are you? Nope, I'm not home. I just finished my last class before my finals. I'm heading home now. Oh, right. The lesson with the tutor. Yeah. I'm actually in your room right now, Carla. There was a leak, and the rain was coming through. A leak? Really? Our house is new, right? Maybe they messed up the construction. Maybe. So, I called the construction company, and they sent someone to take a look. But I don't know if the lock was faulty. It looks like we're trapped in the room. So, could you come home quickly and open the door for us? Well, okay. I wonder if I can open it, though. There must be something stuck on the outside, so can you check? If not, we'll think of something else. Got it. And I got a strange text from Dad. What strange text? It just said goodbye. I responded, but it's left on unread. Can you get a hold of him? He's with me right now. Huh? What do you mean? Dad just came to pick me up in his car. He said he was at the house earlier, but you didn't see him? Are you sure he didn't send it to the wrong person? Wait a second. Why are you with Dad? Hmm? Oops. Oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to say that. Carla, what do you mean? Is Dad back home? Huh? Oh, well, you know. It's your anniversary, right? Dad said he was going to surprise you. Mom, are you sure you were at home? No way. 
Carla, what's Dad saying? You need to tell him to text me back. Carla? Hey, why have you stopped responding too? Oh, please, this is a misunderstanding. Jack, let me explain. What? Explain what exactly? Look about Vince. It's not what you think. Please, you have to believe me. What are you talking about? I heard everything about what you were doing. I have audio recordings. Oh, it just happened on that one day. We weren't serious about it. It just sort of happened. But you were being unfaithful, right? Do you think it makes it any better if it was just once? Not only were you low enough to bring him into our house, but into Carla's room? What's wrong with you? I didn't mean anything by that. Didn't mean anything? Is that so? Vince was saying how he got excited by seeing you in Carla's clothes. It didn't sound like just once. And what are you doing bringing our daughter's clothes into this mess? Oh, it makes me sick. I was lonely. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Just tell me the whole truth. When did this start between you and Vince? After you went away on business. Wrong. It was before then. It's the truth. It was just while you were away from home. Don't lie. You've been in touch with each other since the first time I brought Vince home, haven't you? I've been at the company ten years, right? <laughs> I'm impressed. You knew? But you still asked? Yeah. I wanted to see if you really felt any remorse. It doesn't seem like it at all. Vince is the one who hit on me. He started it. And it was someone you trusted, so I couldn't bring myself to tell you. So you're blaming me? It happened once, then I couldn't tell you. I knew it would upset you, Jack. What are you saying? It hurts me more that you didn't confess. You've been seeing my co-worker for ten years. Well, that was around the first time it happened, but... We didn't meet for a while. A few years ago, I happened to see him downtown. He wanted to talk to me about his sick wife. And that's how it started again. But we were both doing it on the side. We were never serious about it. I don't care if you were doing it on the side. The fact that you did it at all disgusts me. I have needs, too. It's normal to want to be desired, even at my age. Men have strip clubs and things to let loose. But women aren't allowed to have fun sometimes. I've never been to places like that. Anyway, you're comparing apples to oranges. You were sleeping with my co-worker. You were having an affair, plain and simple. Jack, you and Carla are my everything. This whole thing didn't mean anything, so I want you to forgive me. I think I've been punished enough. Punished enough? You put a plank in front of Carla's door so it wouldn't open. Just when I thought I was being let out, you had my parents over. My dad just gave up on me, and my mom was bawling her eyes out. I'm having to stay at a hotel because they disowned me. Of course, though. That's how badly you screwed up. I can't believe you tried to get Carla to open the door for you. Trying to pass Vince off as someone from the construction company? What's wrong with you? I'm really sorry for what I did and I regret it. Nothing like this will ever happen again. So please, just let me home. You're right, it's never happening again. Because I'm getting a divorce. You won't ever be able to betray me again. Calm down. 
How many years do you think we've been married? Carla's still in high school. She'll be devastated if we get divorced right now. Carla is already devastated. Huh? You told her. Of course. You were using her room for your affair, so I had to explain. I didn't tell her all the details, but she's at an age where she understands the big picture. Oh, you're awful. How could you talk to our child about something like that? You're the one who's awful. I didn't want to have to explain it to Carla either. But I couldn't just let her sleep in there without knowing what happened there. That wouldn't be fair to her. It's not as if we made a mess. Enough. Just stop it. Stop saying things like that. I think I'm going to puke. I spoke to Carla. We decided to sell the house. That's how much you've hurt us. But we just bought it. We spent so much on the kitchen. You can't sell it. Then maybe you'll buy it. No, I just mean... I want us to live there together again. Jack, I want to stay by your side and make it up to you and Carla. I'm sorry, but that's not happening. Carla and I don't want you by our side. And that's why we're getting divorced. I've worked so hard to support the two of you. We know that. But that's not enough reason for us to forgive you. We're not changing our minds. Well, what happens to Carla's custody if we divorce? Normally, it would be 50-50, right? No, because Carla's almost an adult. She's old enough that they value her own wishes above anything else. So she's going to live with you? That's what she says she wants. Please, no. We're getting divorced and Carla will be taken away from me? Why did I even bother being a stay-at-home mom? That's what I want to know. There's something that you prioritized over us, right? I wonder what we even meant to you. You two mean the world to me. I'll admit that I was wrong this time, so come on, please. Let's fix this. You'll admit that you were wrong this time? <laughs> Even after all of this, you're not really sorry, are you? It's a little late now, but our values are completely different. I can't stay with somebody who would have an affair in my daughter's room while wearing her clothes. So what should I do now? I've been a housewife. I haven't been working for years. How can I support myself? That's your problem. I'll bleed you and Vince dry by suing you for emotional damages. We'll keep our future contact through my lawyer. Neither me nor Carla wants to see you again. Oh, I can't believe this. It makes me feel stupid for having supported you two for so long. That's what I should be saying. I loved you and trusted you, but you betrayed me. Jack... My heart always belonged to you, and I had yours and Carla's best interests in mind. It was just physical with Vince, so you have no right to judge. If you really had our best interests in mind, you wouldn't have cheated. You were only thinking about yourself. Oh, I've had enough. I'm tired. I'll get married to Vince. What? He always said he wanted to leave his sick wife. He's better looking and smarter than you, too. I don't need a family that abandons me. I guess you didn't know the truth either. Huh? The truth? What do you mean? Vince's wife isn't sick. I went to tell her about her husband's affair, but she was fit as a horse. She was always a feisty woman. Afterwards, she gave Vince a real earful. What? The real reason he declined the business trip was just because he didn't want to go to the countryside. I told our boss about the affair and his lies. Vince was apologizing profusely. 
Are you kidding? Vince told me that he had depression. He said he needed to unwind, so that's why I did what I did. He was probably trying to lure you in by making you pity him. Not that I know. He said he wanted to leave her. He even said he wished he could be with me. Who knows what Vince is thinking? But they said they're not getting a divorce. Vince's wife said she's going to use him as a walking ATM forever. Looks like he wasn't able to argue with her. Look, why don't we try to fix our relationship too? Did you just bang your head? Your opinions keep constantly changing. Your words hold no weight. I'm sorry. I really regret what I did. I'll do anything, so please forgive me. I don't trust anything you say anymore. You were probably just having fun with me as well, right? Please don't say that. I really can't live alone. I haven't worked a day since we got married. There's nothing I could do for work. That's not true. There's one thing you're really good at. What is it? Oh, do you mean cooking? It's something that uses your body. It seems like you don't have trouble doing it with just anyone. <laughs> After that, Lena didn't accept the divorce for a while. But the situation wasn't in her favor. She just dragged out the process, but she couldn't escape the divorce forever. She tried to get custody of Carla to no avail. She even tried to ambush Carla and take her away by force. But Carla managed to run away and call the police. In the end, we got a restraining order on Lena. It seemed that being told you're not my mother by Carla directly shocked her. She immediately became cooperative with the divorce proceedings after that. I hear she's now being chased up on her payments for emotional damages, which I sued her for. I don't know what she's doing for work now, but my former in-laws said it's better I don't know. Maybe she's making use of the skills she gained over the years. Vince was demoted and stationed in the countryside, which is exactly the kind of place he was trying to avoid in the first place. He caused a real mess by lying to get out of the business trip, and the affair with a co-worker. He'll probably never be allowed back to the main office. I think he'll be working hard as his wife's ATM for the rest of his life. Carla and I sold the house, and moved into an apartment that's a better fit for two people. Even though this must have been hard for Carla, she stayed strong, and she's even been there to support me. She's such a kind kid, so I'll make sure she never gets hurt like this again. I'm not sure how much I can do for her as a single father with full-time work, but I'll put her interests first and give her the best life I can. After all, I have no family to care for other than my daughter now. <laughs>